Yes, sir. Ski, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in for another video. Uh, yeah, in today's video, we're gonna be working on this here Ranger, y'all. See, we got some parts right there. Y'all, forgive me if y'all hearing the wind noise because you know what I'm saying. We outside in the elements. It is a beautiful day. I hope it is beautiful. Um, where you guys at? Whoever's watching this video, I hope y'all are having a good day. So yeah, like I said, we got parts right here. We're gonna be getting into it. Put it on this truck. We got intercooler set up. We got couplers. We got fittings and stuff like that for the uh, oil drain on uh, the turbo. All kinds of little stuff. So yeah, y'all enjoy this intro and let's get into it. All right, so like I said, we got parts here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of this stuff out so y'all can see what we got. Um, so basically, we got some two and a half inch stainless right here. We're gonna be doing that for the intercooler setup instead of aluminum piping. We're gonna be going with the stainless steel because it's gonna look all pretty with the pie cuts. At the intercooler, which is a top feed. Um, now this is some stuff that I already had laying around. So I just, you know, kind of made it work. Um, Y'all will see what's going on with that. Um, so this is just kind of something that was going to work with the setup. So I just bolted it to this um, and I drilled the holes. So y'all will be able to see. Just things to help this video go along uh, without, you know, doing all that excessive stuff on and off camera and shit like that. So that kind of, you know, gonna speed things up. We got couplers. We got, let's see, we got the offset coupler for the throttle body. Um, this is a three and a half to a two and a half. It was for the turbo, but I'm not going to be using this, so I had to order a new one. Um, I'll explain to you the reason why here in a minute. We got more couplers. We got the blow off valve um, stainless for that, uh, some fittings, stuff like that. So with these fittings, uh, let's see, can we get this stuff out here? So we got the 10 AN or dash 10 uh, oil drain. And basically uh, I'm gonna be TIG welding it to here. This is for the timing cover. This will be getting TIG welded into here like that for my oil drain. Uh, you can order those, but I figure I just make my own. Uh, we got that. This is for the uh, oil drain on the turbo. So we'll be taking that uh, bar fitting off, putting this on here, stash 10. Uh, this is the fitting that'll be coming off of the turbo. And I have another one somewhere. Uh, I have a 40, oh, right here. So we got the 45. That'll be coming off of here like that, going into the bottom of the turbo. So yeah, we got that stuff right there. But my main concern is I wanna get this intercooler right here. I wanna get it mounted up, welded in and stuff, and get this piping cut and welded up for this up. So it's gonna sit something like this. Um, it's gonna be angled like that. And you can see why I can't use the straight fitting. So I ordered a 45. Hopefully it's enough, you know, to get that angle right there. You know, air will be going through here and in through the bottom, thinking about building some type of wind duct with a curve to uh, blow air on this intercooler. Um, while, you know, I'm driving and stuff like that. But with this piping, it's gonna come down here with a slight, you know, bend, and then it'll 90 into this because this will be, you know, like that. So we'll come out of here and go into here. So that look should look pretty cool. And um, like I said, we'll just go straight 
intercooler to turbo. I'm gonna drag this welder out here and we are gonna get ready to tack this stuff into place so we can start running this uh, piping for the intercooler. Get that in there so now i need to make something that comes like i don't know off of here down here and go to here i'll probably do that later um then it is just sitting up there now so i'll make something later on for that so now we get to get our couplers put our coupler on here and here and start getting this all laid out pie cut it out uh for this setup so we get this offset right here you can see that how it sits so this is gonna go on the side right here this will go on here like that so yep y'all can see what's going on with that so basically to make pie cuts i will figure you know, one side of the pipe to the other side. And I'll just make pie cuts at probably like 15 degrees. So basically, bandsaw is already set to 15 degrees. You can see a piece of tubing I had there that I basically did this practice, you know, stuff on right here. Yeah, I'm gonna get this hooked up and see what we can come up with. All right, so we got a mark here and a mark here. Basically what I did was I just got my old pipe tape right there, put it around it, made me a mark, which you can see in here where it's been welded at or whatever, um, or where it was butted together at. I just marked it there, um, wrapped my pipe tape around it. It was eight inches total. So I just went half of that, which gave me four over here put my uh, speed square on it or combination square and hopefully this was chopped you know straight um, I would have chopped this off but I didn't want to uh, have to reset this so um, I'm gonna make my first cut at uh, what is that 15 degrees so now I will have to take my tape measure measure on both sides, make sure it's the, you know, same distance or whatever, then I'll make my cut. It's all lined up and stuff. It'll come out of the turbo, or shit, I keep saying the turbo. Come out of the manifold like this. You can see the angle um, pitching down. So maybe, just maybe, that piece that I cut here, the first piece, um, I guess it'll go in here like this. I'll, you know, of course, cut it down. It'll come down. And then what I can do is, is I can start my 15 degrees from here coming out. And then I'll just put whatever straight piece in the middle. All right, y'all. So we just got done with the pie cuts. All cleaned up. This took forever. But your boy knocked it out. So um, I guess... I guess I need to hook all my TIG stuff up so I can uh, start getting this stuff tacked in here. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna be fusion welding this, which is what I did on, let me find the other piece. So with this, this is the fusion well. If you can see that, 
you can see like right here where I started with the filler rod. I was just kind of trying to get technique down. You see how it has the little gray spot from where you take it. Um, just trying to get a technique down, come, you know, comfortable with it. So I'm just going to be doing fusion well. Um, I won't be using filler just because this has no structural, you know, content to it besides moving air. So it's not like it's going to be, you know, holding up a big ass turbo or whatever. So I'll just be doing it like that and speed up the process. All right. So just to show y'all a little bit of what's going on, this stuff is starting to give me a headache. I had a little hiccup already down there. It's a learning curve, like I said, it's just wanting to give me a little bit of a headache. Some spots didn't want to tack up, even though um, it's butted up real good, so I had to put a little bit of filler down there. Those two top pieces pieces are just sitting on there, uh, so I do have to uh, tack these two up there, and I got three pieces here tacked together, so I believe I will be able to run just a straight piece from here to there, uh, and I have to put a piece in here um tack here a piece of straight so you know i can get some clamping on it and the same thing down here but i just wanted to show you guys what everything is looking like so uh i'm gonna tack these two pieces together then i'm gonna cut a piece out and hopefully um because i think if i put one more piece on it it'll be too much Shit, then again, I don't know. It may take all those pieces. Yep, it may take all those pieces. So I guess I'll tack these three pieces together and tack it to here. All right, so after fighting with this long enough, I finally get um, everything tacked up. You can see where like, I don't know, for some reason, I kept having problems with like, even though everything butted up real good, it was wanting to blow through. And I'm only using 30 amps, so I don't know. Y'all don't come for me in the comments. Like I said, this is, like, literally maybe from doing this, like, my third time welding stainless. So, um, but I, I'm sure I have to use filler rod, you know, to fill in this stuff right there. So, that's no problem. But, anyways, main thing is we got it all together, so... You can see the piece. Still need to sand it down in there. But when I back purge this, um, it'll you know look a lot better in the inside. This is just basically from tank welding out here. And the air, because this has a reaction um, to fresh air or something like that, some shit like that. Um, but anyways, yeah, so. That's how that's gonna sit there. Now that it's all tacked and done, I guess I'll take this out, get this in there, you know, get it purged out, and then I'll start welding this thing up. It's gonna take me a long time to do this, so, um, yeah, I don't know how much of it I'll record, but I'll get you guys some footage. Like I said, I'm no expert, you know, I'm still learning this, but, you know, I'll get better. All right, so excuse the jump. Um, I got stuff everywhere, but um, basically I got this all cleaned down, got my purge running. You might can hear it, but I uh, got my purge set up running. Um, I guess I'm going to start teaking this thing up. Now, disclaimer, I am not a professional teag welder. Like I said, this is only like, I only done picked this shit up a few times, so... Please do not come for me in the comments if you know how to teak well. If anything, help a brother out. Tell me where I'm messing up, what I need to do different. But, like I said, this is still, I'm in a learning curve. But I ain't going to let that, you know, stop me from doing my thing. So, um, I'll probably not show the whole process of me welding this, but I will give y'all a little clip of it. So, like I said, don't come for me. So, 
this is the finished product of the intercooler piping. Not the prettiest, but like I said, I'm still learning. So some of those spots like that, um, the reason why they're like that is because, like I said, when I was trying to take this up earlier, uh, for some reason, it was wanting to blow holes in the pipe. So some of those spots I had to do a little bit of uh, filler in. But you can see, it didn't turn out too bad. Um, the face of it is kind of what I wanted to, you know, have the prettiest. So it ain't gonna look too bad. I had to go back over this spot right there. The reason why it's so wide, because it was kind of humped up and I wanted to level it down. But like I said, you can see on the inside how the uh, purge does. So. Inside looks good. Look like we got good penetration. So, uh, like I said, it ain't too bad. I wish it could have came out a little bit better, but like I said, hey, I don't care. My name is on it. I'm learning, you know what I'm saying? So, I ain't too messed up about it. So, I'm gonna run some water on this and cool this off right quick. Then we're gonna throw it on the truck and see the finished product. All right, so here it is with the cardboard off of the end cooler and the pipe installed. Yes, sir, ski. Like I said, not my best. Not, not you know, not the best. Let me just say it like that. Like I said, still learning, but it ain't too bad. It ain't too bad, man. That look pretty damn good. Man, y'all come in below and tell me what y'all think about the setup, bro. Man. So, still got airflow through there and through there, so. Yeah. Yes, uh, it looks pretty damn good, man. I hate that I had to go back over that and that made that a little bit wide. I wish it could have stayed like this, but oh well. Like I said, man, still learning. Um, like I said, I had a few holes from when I tried to take it together, it just would not tack at the patch. Some of these holes were filler wire. But anyways, probably won't be putting the port on for the blowout valve just yet till I get it. Um, here it is. Like I said, I'll just pro I'll probably end up doing it like this or either on the bottom. I don't know. I worry about that when I get it. Um, the 45, hopefully that 45 comes in by the next video and I hope it, it works. I really do. Hopefully that works. Um, with this turbo, I probably will be going to a smaller turbo. Like I said, I think, I think I said it in the last, in, in one of the last few videos. Um, I will be keeping this big ass turbo because it will be helping with the torque numbers to keep the torque uh, numbers down so we don't sling a rod through the damn hood of this thing. Um, until I put rods and pistons in here, probably going with a smaller turbo so we can kick up those torque numbers a little bit, make that boost come in a little bit quicker. Like I said, it's gonna wrap it up for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, comment down below, tell me what you guys think about how the truck is coming out because I think it is pretty sick. So, yeah, until the next video, y'all, we out, peace.